Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Everyone. Tony Stark and Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man have become an iconic name when you look at the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and there's definitely reason for that that is well deserved. But in a recent interview with the writers Chris... Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely from Avengers Endgame, they actually talked about the possibility of an Iron Man 4 that was at one point considered. This is really interesting because Iron Man was one of the most successful series in the MCU, along with it being the original series to kind of kick off the MCU, plus the, the fact plus the fact that Robert Downey Jr. was massively popular. It honestly, at one point, seemed like it would make the most sense for them to to do an Iron Man 4, especially because of the success that the Iron Man movies had. However, in this interview, they kind of elaborated on the decision not to do an Iron Man 4 and why they felt like it was important to do things the way that they did. Now, if you guys remember back to Iron Man 3, it kind of concluded a major story arc involving Tony Stark and his reactor core from the first Iron Man, and it tied up that storyline nicely. And then what they ended up doing was they kind of took that Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark and tied him into a new three arc story that kind of existed outside of his own standalone movies, starting mostly in Avengers Age of Ultron and leading up into the events of Avengers Endgame, with Civil War being a very important part in the middle. Now what's really interesting though is that the reasoning behind them not wanting to do Iron Man 4 and choosing not to do it when they literally even say in the interview any other studio would have made an Iron Man 4. It was a very obvious decision to make or very obvious option to pursue, however them choosing not to was more of the riskier choice that they believe paid off. Because instead of doing an Iron Man 4 and leading the door open for this character, they chose to do an ingrained storyline that was bigger than what Iron Man existed and kind of crescendoed up to the events of Avengers Endgame. They then go on to say that if there wasn't an end to the story, it means everything that had happened so far would be meaningless. So they felt that by cementing a finale to the story and taking the character off of the table, it actually led to better storytelling than what could have happened had they started down the path of doing an Iron Man 4 and maybe an Iron Man 5 and an Iron Man 6, rather than getting a lot of the new standalone movies that we have seen released that kind of explore new characters like Black Panther or Captain Marvel. And this idea of kind of wrapping up characters and giving them their own three-part story and then giving them a overall larger than life story that wraps up their character seems to be the ongoing trend or the precedent that's been set up by the MCU so far. We see a similar situation with Captain America having three main movies and his storyline crescendoing to a finale in Endgame as well, and we're seeing that a lot of these movies aren't planned to have fourth entries, with the exception of Thor, who's getting the who is going to be the first character to actually have a fourth entry to an extent. Still, we see things like Guardians of the Galaxy probably going to wrap up after the third movie releases, and we won't be surprised if we see similar things where these characters might not go away, but they won't get any standalone movies after their third entry, like Ant-Man. But it is still really interesting to think back as to what the possibility would have been had they gone ahead and pursued an Iron Man 4 sometime after Avengers Age of Ultron released. So now we wanted to turn this around to you guys and see what you guys think. Would you have liked to see an Iron Man 4 or do you think it would have taken away from Tony Stark's storyline and his character arc had they continued with that character and developing him more? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm about to. Hi Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> See you guys.